stay dry, people, stay dry. Wartime is not for the faint of heart. Oh no, uh, as rockets hit our land, our people hit our infrastructure. People have to run for cover, and their life is is hangs in the balance. But you know, IDF, Israel Defense Force, is defending, hitting back hard, hard. And well, what happens if you don't stop a bully? What happens if you allow a terrorist to terrorize? And these tyrants, these tyrannizers, these tormentors, Hamas. And Islamic Jihad, and and others, you know, is Alin Al Qasam, uh, you know, they will not be able to prosper. The wicked will not be able to prosper. The day of reckoning is here, and that's in the Bible. I mean, wicked might prosper for a season, but their terror comes to an end, and the day of reckoning comes. Uh, Hezbollah is taking note of what happens to the wicked, you know, and I think of how beautiful Beirut was. Man, what happened to Beirut? I mean, it was ranked above Tel Aviv as one of the most attractive cities uh, to visit, right? Number six in the world or five in the world, something like that. I mean, it, it was called the Paris of the Middle East. What changed? Well, I remember Hezbollah started shooting Christians and and just it was it, it was a switch. But there's a revolution happening again. And maybe we're all part of a great revolution. And heroes, I mean, reservists are fighting the fight. They're standing in the gap. Sayerat Charuv, Duchifat, Duv Divan. They're cleaning house over in Judea and Samaria, like Tulkarim. Uh, and of course, all throughout, you have the combat engineer corps shining, really, and the tank unit, right? Shirion are shining battalions. Kfir, uh, fierce battles all over, even in throughout Judea and Samaria, Janin. Um, and we're seeing here in Gaza, we're discovering tunnels, we're dismantling tunnels. Uh, Yalom is a real diamond in this one, uh, cleaning house. You know, and, and I mean, just look at this, look at the, the uh, parliament, you might call it, of the Hamas. And now it's, it's a time of a revolution. And I think we need to take, take a moment and say, what about us? What about our own life? Is it time for us to clean house in our own life as well? I mean, United States is taking a lot of a lot of fire all throughout, and uh, and I just see how when wickedness festers, you know, like building an entire weapons armory, a cache, an entire armory under a hospital, and that that can just continue. No, it's not going to continue anymore. No way. And you're you're kidnapping uh, Hamas is kidnapping uh, and, and holding the hostages. In a hospital, are 250, 240 host, uh, hostages that they took 240 or so innocent women and children, men and women, and and of course taking hundreds, what 240 some innocent women and children hostage, and and holding them underneath the hospital and these these tunnels underneath the hospital. This is wrong, and this must be stopped. And we got to keep interceding and travailing, just like. King David did that we get all of our family members back and it's going to happen. The Lord is running. The lion of Judah is leading the charge and, and the light is coming into the darkness. That's what's happening. Light is coming into the darkness. And I just want you to stand and, and let your hands be strong in this time. As the enemy thinks he's going to prevail, the enemy will not prevail. And the righteous will prevail and righteousness will prevail. Thank you for standing with Israel right now. Thank you for standing in the gap. Think of 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 29. You know, and I look around at the war and I say, you know, God speaks about this in his word. You know, by your strength, I've run through a troop and by my God, I have leapt over a wall. As for my God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He's a shield to all those that trust in him. For who is God? Save the Lord God. Who is a rock except for our God? God is a strong fortress. It talks about he wakes my, makes my way perfectly smooth, teaches my hands to war. My arms bend a bow of brass. You gave me the shield of your salvation. And it goes on and it talks about, I, you know, uh, my ankles did not slip. I pursued my enemies and I destroyed them. I turned not again till they were consumed and I've consumed them and I've crushed them. They have rose not again. Yes, they fell under my feet and you girded me with strength to battle you subdue them under me that rose up against me thank god for strengthening his troops right now